Okay, uh, this is not the first time I've done this test, but I'll show you what happens when we try to run it. This is supposed to be a two inch circle. Uh, it's not a two inch circle. <clears throat> and uh, let's go ahead and take a look. So I've just got a black marker in there and uh, I think we're feeding it about 20 inches per minute. Um, I can't remember. Maybe it's, maybe it might be faster than that. Anyway, let's see what happens. Uh, I don't know if you can see that, but that's definitely not a circle. Let's uh, try it again. <clears throat> Something like this. So it starts to look good, then it goes straight and makes a sharp, sharp angle. And uh, it's kind of a four-sided uh, thing. I wonder if this is due to backlash. Uh, that's my guess. Um, so I guess we'll have to sort that out a little bit. And I tried to do some other uh, more complicated stuff as well, but it did not come out looking any better. So, anyway, there you have it, X and Y, uh, sort of working. Okay, this is going to be uh, test number two. You can see my first one was a three inch, uh, kind of a socket type shape. And uh, I crashed it once um, uh, over here. And then uh, another problem I had was uh, I crashed it a second time uh, because I didn't feed up on the Z fast enough. I'm doing the Z manually. So we're gonna try it again. This is gonna be a two inch one. And uh, we're gonna probably be running, uh, the G Wizard says I can run uh, up to about, <coughs> Uh, 125 thousandths at 16 inches per minute, but that seems to be a little bit fast for this um, for this cutter. So we're going to be doing 16 inches per minute at about 25 thousand, or no, 50 thousand depth of cut. Uh, RPMs at 2,000, and I'll be uh, cleaning chips and spraying it with WD-40 manually, and uh, we'll see where we get. <clears throat> so let's go ahead and I think we start right at the Z, and got my. We set the maximum uh, feed for the uh, whole assembly at um, 16, and then we don't have to worry about it jogging out of the way. You know, when I crashed at the end last time, it was because my max speed was set at like 100, and it tried to jog out at 100, and that's how I crashed it. So I may have to actually run this code twice to get all the way through. Uh, I don't know. We'll see what happens. I may increase the depth of cut while we're moving just to see what happens there. So let me go ahead and zero out my z-axis, <clears throat> and here we go. Step to cut. I'm gonna back that back up to 100 actually. In my last video, uh, the sneak peek, I had about a, I had a whole bunch of. Uh, Backlash, and I'll have to tell you about that in a minute. 
Okay, then we're going to pause and drop down to 200. Well, maybe not. Because I'm doing this myself. first broken end mill. <laughs> ah, shit. Well, we're on the right track. All right, let me go ahead and show you what this looks like. <laughs> uh, the crappy thing is that was my only quarter inch end mill. I've had one end mill for, you know, the three or four months I've been playing with this. Uh, I mean, I got a couple of half inch end mills, but that was my only quarter inch, and I've come to really love that end mill. So, yeah, I'm a little upset about it. Anyway, uh, let's take a look at that wall clearance. Or, uh, any differences in the wall will give us an indication of uh, backlash. And the wall looks pretty dang good. I don't see it where we step down is maybe off, I don't even think a thousandth. You can see a little bit over here. Um, I mean, just a smidge. I think I may have this thing already dialed in pretty, pretty good. You can see a little bit right there. Oh, sorry, I'm not on camera at all. Uh, look at that wall right there. You can see a little, you can see the mark kind of where the first pass and the second pass differ. And uh, <clears throat> apparently, this is where we broke. It looks like I had actually stepped down, gosh, that's gotta be about almost 200 thousandths because I forgot the first time I stepped down manually, I missed the pause and I stepped down over here somewhere. So it's hard to tell, but that's actually ramped down between about here and here. So, uh, damn it, there it is. I'm not on camera again, I think. that That's where I ramped down and broke, uh, about 200 thousandths, and it, it really, I should have been ramping down from about there to about here, like I did before, so. I just overfed it, that's my fault. And uh, I guess, gonna have to get that Z axis up and running. Anyway, <clears throat> thanks for watching. <laughs>